more than additional information. Uh, we thought that there were a few additional people that should have been interviewed, mainly people that worked for and were at the hotel during the time that Kinnicky could be seen, you know, traveling through the hallways and so forth. We're not closing our investigation. We're going to continue to conduct interviews, collecting all of the information that the police department gathered as a part of what our investigation consists of, but we still have some things that we want to get done and, and finish with regard to what happened. Uh, there's a lot of questions about how this hotel maintained their premises. Yeah. You know, this facility was closed off. They'd taken out the stoves, yet they had this freezer on in the back. Most of the freezers on the premises were, were either locked by locks or with zip ties, but this one was open, accessible, and free and operating, even though it had nothing inside of it. That's a good point, Council. That doesn't make much sense either, does it? Why would, if there's nothing there, why would the freezer even be on? Yeah, exactly. And why is the, the kitchen at all, this kitchen at, in particular, at all accessible? It had construction doors across the entrance. It had the ability to lock it with the padlock. Um, and for some reason, they, they had it open and accessible. So, a lot of questions still to be answered. Will you be doing your own investigation now with the family? Absolutely. We've already yeah. begun that. We did a, a, a private autopsy to begin that investigation. Great. Um, and we have been interviewing various witnesses and then gathering a, a, a numerous bits of information, including tips from the public that we are exhaustively exploring to find out really what happened to the check lady. Big ups to Larry Rogers Jr. Man, that that is that is some deep stuff. I just got done listening to um, this radio show out in Chicago, and um, I was listening to Larry Rogers Jr. speaks about getting all the uh, information they needed from the Chicago PD. I saw the pictures. I'm pretty sure they're not surprised that the photos are out on social media. normally see dead bodies like murder scenes in movies but to see that like real life whoa that that shit was just like disturbing anybody would be disturbed I mean I don't even know her like that oh that could just be anybody I mean they treated her like she was some crackhead prostitute or some shit just find a body, pants all dirty, the back of her pants got a dirt spot in the back of it, you know what I'm saying, and I'm like, wait a minute, something seems fishy here, none of this shit is not adding up, which I've been saying from the, from the beginning, nothing adds up at all, that whole death scene seems so fishy, as if somebody just planted her body there, got her head leaned against the corner, as if they was trying to do something to her and she just passed out and died, whatever. That's why I'm saying it's a whole lot of theories and shit. It's, it's too many theories. And then you see one lip gloss on one side of the freezer and then there's another lip gloss on the other side of the freezer. Then there's a shoe away from her body. So it's like she's lying down on the floor near the doorway, which is the second uh, entrance of the freezer. Because they have one entrance you walk in, then it's another door. But then there was a handle saying that, okay, I'm pretty sure she had enough sense to try to get herself out the freezer. Maybe whoever was there saw her walking there drunk and might have led her to the freezer. Who knows? It's a mystery. I mean, that shit was some creepy shit. It just come to show like, man... Up. You can't trust nobody from Chi-Town. And I'm not saying all people that come from Chicago are fucked up people. I'm not saying that. But man, you got some of the most grimiest motherfuckers that just make Chicago have a bad name. Seeing those pictures of where she died, her, her, her murder scene, death scene.
that shit was disturbing. 